guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Jasmine hello hi how are you doing so today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this look right here it is kind of like a double rainbow thing going on with the little stars I have rainbow under my eyebrows and rainbow under my eyeballs I have no eyeshadow on but it is super cute I feel like this is a really good EDC inspired look or if you just want to be a little rainbow queen then girl do you but other than that if you want to learn how to create this look then keep on watching okay you guys so obviously so you've seen from my thumbnail and my intro the look I'm gonna do hopefully it turns out good so you're getting kind of my first little real reaction to it or whatever but I'm gonna be doing this look right here let me actually show you guys so I believe Rocio did it first I'm not too sure I don't know who did it first don't groom for me but this is who I saw it by it's insta beauty just let me pop her up right here so, okay, I'm doing this because I know EDC is coming up and a lot of my subscribers are more like rave related. So this one's for you girls. And look, your girl got her nails. And look, your girl got her nails done today. They look super bomb. I love them. I'll insert a picture or if that was fine, then okay. So I already did my eyebrows. You could probably hear my dog. I kicked her out, but somehow she's still so fucking loud. Hey you guys, so I already put concealer on my eyeball. I'm going to be blending it out. I'm so sorry if you could hear my loud ass dog. I honestly don't know what's going on because she barks every single day of her life. That is all she's good at. So, okay. I don't know if I'm going to put like a base eyeshadow color. I feel like I might not. The girl in the picture, she did have like glitter, but I mean, I don't know. I still want to make it a little different you know so okay let's hope for the best so i'm gonna be using the james charles palette i'll post a picture right here of every color i'm using so i'm gonna be starting off with a red color and i'm using this flat brush right here and i'm just gonna be oh actually i need to freaking set my eyelid so i'm gonna be setting it with my bobby brown face powder you could use any face powder you have or any one color that you want to use and the reason why I'm doing so is just so all my eyeshadows could lay perfectly because I don't want them to be messy okay so I want to make sure I have all the red down on this little pointy part right here hopefully you could see that and let me zoom you guys in a little more oh my god okay so this is so scary so let's go So now, as you could tell, I have a rainbow going on. And what I'm going to be doing is cleaning it up. So, I'm going to be grabbing some of my concealer. And slowly just cleaning up wherever needs to be cleaned. So now I have that down. And do I want to do a base color? Hmm, let me think. Okay, you guys, so what I'm going to be doing next is I'm actually going to be doing some eyeliner just because I do think I still want to pop up something. Well, I don't know because I do want to do, I kind of want to do eyeliner, but then at the same time I want to do like a rainbow. Actually, I'm going to do the rainbow first and maybe like we'll see afterwards if I want to do eyeliner or not. So next thing I'm going to be doing is putting on some mascara. I'm just using the sample MAC mascara that I got when I went to a store. So with our face makeup, you already know the deal. I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild foundation in the color Soft Beige. This is my number one holy grail. Let's pull up my sleeves. Okay. And I'm just going to be applying that. everywhere i honestly actually really like how the rainbow under my eyebrows look like looks like i don't know it's just really different like when do you see a girl have a freaking rainbow under her eyebrows never okay so make sure you're getting your neck area because you don't want to be miss siete colores at a rave or anywhere in general honestly never that so we're just plugging this out. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is applying some Too Faced concealer. This is the Born This Way concealer. 
and I'm just going to be applying that anywhere I want to be a little more lighter and for me I do like putting it all over my little t-zone area and now that I have that done I'm just going to be blending that out okay, so now that I have all my concealer blended out I'm going to be setting it with my Cody Airspun powder and I'm just setting up everywhere okay so now that I have this done the next thing I'm going to be doing is doing the same kind of rainbow effect that I have going on under my eyebrow under my eyes so let me get my stuff situated I'm going to be grabbing my little favorite brush I don't know where this is from it's somewhere in Target but let me make sure I don't have any color and I'm going to be using the same brush for every other color so I'm just going to be cleaning it off afterwards so I'm using the red I'm going straight under. So now what I'm going to be doing just to clean that a little more up is grabbing a brush and kind of doing a winged liner effect. And we're just doing that on both sides. Now what I'm going to be doing is getting some eyeliner, if I can find where my is. Okay, so I'm going to be grabbing some eyeliner. It's my Black Elf Eyeliner. And what you're going to be doing now is grabbing a bronzer, any type of bronzer you have. I'm going to be using my Stone Sheep Bronzer from Bobbi Brown. And I'm just going to be applying that on my cheeks. And this is what's going to start making your look come together. Okay. I do apply my bronzer a little more higher just because, I don't know, that's kind of how I like doing it. So I'm going to be adding my blush from MAC in the shade Melba. And I'm just going to be applying that right kind of on top where the bronzer was and just mixing the two together because I do want kind of like a really summery vibe so I'm gonna have that down and just applying it on top again so now what I'm gonna be doing next is applying some Cody Airspun powder again and I'm gonna use this to bake and really define my blush and bronzer okay and now that I have that down I'm gonna go do it on the other side so I think today I'm gonna be going with more of like a bluish pink type of highlight so I'm just gonna be going down the bridge of my nose as so and then grabbing a little and putting it only on the tip of my nose. And this is what makes you have a little ball-like nose. And if you don't like your tip too intense, then you could just dust it with a brush. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing that to the corners of my eye. And this is going to give my eyeballs a really good pop because I don't have any lashes on yet. So my look is still looking a little dull. And just clean up any eye boogers I have there. And now what I'm going to be doing next is highlighting. So now what I'm going to be doing is I let my bronzer, or I'm sorry, my little airspun powder bake under there. I'm going to be applying my lashes. So the lashes I'm going to be wearing today are my E7 lashes. These are from AliExpress. I have a video down below with how they look. I'll probably link them down below. Okay, guys. So as you can tell, I got my lashes on. And you could already tell a huge difference. And sorry, let me just move these beards a little upwards. Okay, so you can already tell a huge difference on how the look is turning out. It is looking super cute, super fresh, and I love it so far. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is adding a little bit of star glitters. These are from MAC, and 
they come in a little container but i just have it in a ziplo bag so what i'm gonna be doing is actually i'm not gonna be using eyelash glue because eyelash glue tends to be a little too harsh so what i'm gonna be doing is using my nyx glitter glue and i honestly don't need a lot because i'm not gonna use a lot of stars but i have that on the little the palm of my hand and i'm just gonna be grabbing some stars with some tweezers The next thing I'm going to be doing is adding some lip gloss. So, sorry, I have my little mirror right here. Okay, guys, so this is a completed look. It honestly looks super cute. I love how the rainbow's like under, and then you could see it on top as well. I do think it does bring a little extra oomph. It's not super like dramatic, so if you're like getting kind of like into makeup and you don't want to go like all out because you're scared you're going to sweat it off, I feel like this is a really good look for you. And as I said, I do think like the little glitters, they brought a little shine to it. Okay guys, so other than that, this is the finished look. Hopefully you guys liked it, and if you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And honestly, I actually did end up loving it. I do think it's super different. It's honestly not even that hard. Like, it, it's really not. You guys see me do it. I probably didn't talk a lot you probably didn't explain a lot i'm still getting used to it sorry she's not an mua she's just self-taught oh my god and look at okay look at how cute my nails look with this like hello hello edc inspo as beep you already know the drill but anyways other than that hopefully you like this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next one bye guys